It sure looks like it's going to be a fierce three-week period for the presidential candidates. Thank you for that report, Semin. We appreciate it. Now, the majority of Korea's presidential can contenders made time on Sunday to pay their respects to the victims of the Seoul Ferry sinking on the third anniversary of the tragedy. They also vowed to uncover the truth about the disaster. Oh Soo-young reports. Four of the major presidential candidates attended an annual ceremony for the Seoul ferry passengers in the victim's hometown of Ansan. They joined the bereaved families and thousands of ordinary citizens to commemorate the lives of the 304 passengers lost at sea. The candidates offered words of sympathy, pledging their support in first and foremost recovering the bodies of the nine passengers still missing and returning them to their families. Liberal front-runner Moon Jae-in promised to step up efforts to uncover the fundamental cause of the ferry sinking and the administrative failures surrounding it. We will set up a second investigation committee. The entire truth will be revealed. If this measure is not passed by law, I will use the powers of the presidency to make it happen. His main centrist rival, An Tosu, also showed determination to bring out the truth. Uncovering the truth is something the whole nation should strive for. We'll make sure those responsible are held accountable. Yoo Seung-min of the conservative Padun Party and Shin Sang-jong of the leftist Justice Party also expressed their sorrow over the disaster, promising a just and capable government that would not allow such a tragedy to occur again. There will be no more tragedies like this Hell Ferry incident. If the nation stands for the dignity and value of its people, and if it has a leader capable of solving the problem, then this kind of incident will not occur. Conservative candidate Hong Jun-pyo, fronting the Liberty Party of Korea, was not present at the ceremony. Hong has said in recent weeks that the sinking has already been investigated and compensated for, and that it shouldn't be used for political purposes. It's been a rather quiet day for the candidates, spent in solemn remembrance and reflection. But Monday will see them rally their supporters as the official campaign period begins. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News, Antan.